Well, welcome back, knife nerds and everyday care people. It's your boy, the Big Connector, and we have got ourselves a conundrum here that we're going to have a look at. It uh, This is the Gerber Conundrum. I'm just kidding. It's the Gerber Prybrid Utility, and um, it is something that I'm having a really, really hard time putting my finger on, and you know, I'll discuss this here in a few minutes. Um, First of all, I want to say thank you to a fellow by the name of Matthew uh, on Reddit here. His character savings 12. That is, is quite the uh, handle. I have no idea what that means. But anyways, Matthew, I tried to buy one of these that were pre-owned. Uh, Matthew had one for sale. He sent it to me and uh, through the mail, regular mail, and it just did not make it here to me in Lethbridge. And I have to say that Matthew was a stand-up stand -up guy. He refunded me back my $20 and he sent me an extra $11 or so. So I ended up buying one of these brand new at our local Canadian Tire store. And I have to say, you know what, Matthew, thank you so much, buddy. Uh, I appreciate you having, you know, the honor as well as the character to make it right with me. And uh, I got to give you lots of props. All right. So let's uh, let's have a quick look at this and I'll tell you what my issues are with it and what my um, overall impressions are of this. And I have to tell you that I had a really, really hard time carrying this uh, multi-tool so much for the fact that th my review here is going to be a lot less based on actual usage and working with it and more on what the tool is and what it does with my lifestyle now let's go over this really quick this is a eight in one tool it has a pry bar it's got a nail puller here as you can see uh, it's got a wire stripper. They say in the center right inside there is a, is a, is a wire stripper. It's got a, f a small flathead drive as well as a large flathead driver. Uh, of course, you've got to have a bottle opener right here. And then you have to have the uh, security blade here uh, with a utility blade, sorry. And uh, you've got a notch here for cutting cord and stuff like that when it's in the closed position or even like say a seatbelt cutter, something like that. It comes in two different ways. It comes in an OD green as well as a gray. Now, as far as size wise, that seems to be the, the big issue with this and the issue with this in my life um, specifications here. Now, your the width here is one point two five inches. So, you know, as wide as a regular knife, the length is four point two five inches and the weight is two point nine ounces. So it's not crazy heavy. The fact that it is, it is as big as a closed pocket knife. And that's where I in a fair size pocket knife. Uh, like, hey, we've got something here, which is the Spyderco Techno 2, which is an excellent pocket knife. Um, you know, when it's open, it's, uh, you know, this is still smaller, but when it's closed, this is smaller. So I have a really, really hard time carrying this uh, for the fact that it is, do I use this as my everyday carry knife? Do I use this just as a straight pry bar? Do I use this as a backup? Um, you know, do, how do how do I use this in my lifestyle? Now, what usually fits inside my pockets, or I've got you know on the right side, I've got the knife, whatever the knife that I've happened to be carrying. Um, and right now, especially this is where this ha I have an issue. So here's what I've got: I've got my little pry bar that I'm using right now, a pen, and I'm using this Baton Three Pro, and um, and you can see that it's in my right pocket, and and this is too much to have two of these together in my right pocket if i was doing just this you know but then you know i could take this brute brute out but then i just feel like do i need the redundancy of an extra kind of blade that's where it kind of really <clears throat> bothers me you know like um here's another size wise here is a little leatherman juice and it's smaller and it's crazy functionality in this juice where this one here, I'm not really going to strip wires with it. I'm going to use this for opening boxes and prying the occasional thing. That's what it seems to be for me. And it just seems to be in that really odd size. Now, a fifth pocket, this is a little bit too big for the fifth pocket, I think. And that's where I, I want to have a multi-tool that will not get, or not a multi-tool, but a pry bar that will either fifth pocket it or fit inside my pocket really comfortably with my other stuff. And this just doesn't fit really comfortably with all my stuff right now in my front pocket. And I can't stand having that tool in my left pocket. I, I am so sorry. I, I know that's kind of, we're getting a little bit nitpicky, but this is 
a review on how it affects my life. Now, um, looking at it, it looks like it's a fairly capable tool. And when it came, it was really, um, it was quite um, stiff. Uh, you know, and that could have been just for manufacturing. As you can see, I, I put a little bit of, of um, oil inside there just to kind of loosen it up on both sides. And that seems to have made, you know, a, a big difference. It seems to have loosened it up quite a bit. And I, and I could see, you know, this is a tool for me that's going to sit in my, maybe it'll sit on my desk and it'll be opening packages, stuff like that, letters, things like that. But I've got things that are so much funner than to, to open up a package with. I mean, I'd rather open up a package with this you know, Techno 2 than I would with this Prybrid. Uh, now this Prybrid's, you know, one of the bonuses here is you can click it all the way out and you can remove this blade and have a second blade that's in, or another blade that's in there um, with no, um, you know, worrying about, you know, if, if I bust that blade, no problem. If I get it dull, no problem. You know, these blades are very, very inexpensive. Um, you know, you can take this and you can turn it around. So if this one does get really dull, you can actually take this and you can flip it around and you can have do the other side with it. Uh, although I would be nice to have perhaps a sliding compartment or something in there that you could, you know, it is thick enough that you could carry an extra blade in there. Somehow, I think, <clears throat> would be something that would uh, perhaps make this a little bit more useful. Um, I can see somebody using this as, oh, excuse me here, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Talk amongst yourselves. All right. I can see somebody um, using this tool as kind of a standalone tool to kind of get into. Like, you know, it could be a painter. That would be a good thing. He can crack open his paint. You know, you can remove the, the occasional little screw or little uh, nail that's in your way. Uh, you know, pry a, you know, you can maybe pry a um, little bit of um, baseboards, things like that. And then, you know, you know, cut your uh, cut your cloth, your drop cloth, things like that, plastic drop cloth. I could see somebody doing that utility as kind of their only tool. I think it's 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 functional that way. But adding it as an everyday carry in my particular life right now, I found it a little bit awkward to carry. I found it just not as functional as I think the to current tools that I have in my pocket right now. And I just didn't really want to carry it that bad. And when I did carry it, I just found that it was a little bit uncomfortable inside my pocket and I just didn't dig it. And that's probably why I didn't put a lanyard hole. Now it does have a lanyard hole. And to me, all my stuff has got to have a lanyard hole. I absolutely love having lanyard holes, but I didn't want to put one on here because it would get in the way of the pry bridge. Like, you know, that's another thing, you know, I would love to see the lanyard hole on this side, even though that is the side that the blade comes out. You know, if you could fit it in that corner, to me, it just would have made more sense because I'm going to use this more as a pry bar than I'm going to use it more as a knife because I've got a dedicated knife. So for me, this is probably in my lifestyle right now. Sorry about that, Gerber. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10 just based upon it's just in that um, size that it's just, it just is, it needs to be either smaller or it needs to be bigger. It's the same size as a good size pocket knife right now. And for the functionality, I'm not going to carry this. So that's uh, what I have to say about this Gerber. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please, please, you know what? If you did enjoy it, please, and you've got some of this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this. Help me spread my voice. And please, for whatever you do out there, please stay safe out there. Keep your stick on the ice, the shiny side up. This is the Big Knacker saying adios.